Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, I have another fan, another remote controllable fan from both the regular remote control that it comes with and from an iPhone if you want to install the app. Okay, it's from Prime Mall and I'm going to open it up right now. So we have the fan itself. It's got it's actually quite large. It's one of the larger ones I've had to deal with. So let me get it out of here. It's got a down-facing light. The middle part, the grill, is black on this model. And the fan is trapped behind a little cage here at the back. It has a giant fixture to connect it up to the ceiling. So this is going to be a little bit more effort probably than the others that I've done. But we'll see. Then we have the goodie bag, and it looks like we have the standard remote control, some wire nuts, a mounting bracket for the wall for the remote control, and some instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and install it in this room. I may speed through parts of it because a lot of it's going to be drilling and stuff, but I have to get, you know, some support up on the ceiling for this larger fan. So let's get started. At the end, you'll be able to see what it looks like running and all of the different options that it comes with. Okay. Okay, so there's the hole in the ceiling with the support bracket already in place. There was a fixture up there already, so it's nothing new for a light to be there. But putting a fan there might be a challenge because it's a bit heavier than a single light fixture like it had. So we're going to have to put some supporting bolts into the sheetrock along the sides. The actual fan itself, as you can see here, it has a pretty wide pattern on the bottom for purposes of mounting it. And we can remove that, which is what I'm going to do now. So let me go down and take it off and we'll proceed from there. Okay, so here it is. Let's take the thing off the bottom. I did peek at the instructions already. This thing should just sort of twist off here in the bottom. So if I take this and I turn it, it looks like I'll have to go counterclockwise from where I'm at. It should just come, there we go. And then you hit notches there and this whole panel comes off. So it has a, a retention cable on it. I'll go ahead and remove that for now. We are going to need that retention cable later when we're trying to wire up the fan itself. So the fan has in it a black and a white wire going to a little controller unit. And we're going to have to wire that up while we're basically looking upside down at it. So it's good that it has this little cable retention that will keep it there and secure while I'm trying to wire it up. But now we have to go and check this out and make sure that we can get this thing mounted into the mounting brackets up on the ceiling. So let's do that next. So the first thing we have to do is install these two screws that came with it to connect the base of the fan up into the holder up in the ceiling. So the hole that's up in the ceiling here, I'll have to install that up there first, okay? Okay, I got it up there. It took a little bit of effort. I had to get somebody to help me, a helper, to give me a third hand and hold a light. But I was able to get that up there. Now I'm going to mark it and uh, then get ready to drill some holes for the anchors. So I got my pencil right here. Let me get back up here and do this. It's got slots over here. I'll just follow the slots. There we go. So now I have marked. Now I have to take it back down again. Okay, I got it off now, and you can see the marks on the ceiling from the pencil. So now I have to just, uh, I'm going to pick with just two for now and put some anchors in there to give it some extra strength up to the ceiling. And we'll see how that works. Okay, I got it up there finally. Now I got to connect up the electrical wires. It's dangling right now from a little hook that it comes with that connects up to the base. I strongly suggest you use that unless you've got two other people to help you on ladders. So now we got to wire these things up here. Here you can see the, the little hook that it comes with, with a steel cable. And now we can hook these guys up. Black is hot, so I'm going to hook that to the red wire. This particular one has a white and a red. Sometimes it's, usually it's black in the wall, unless it's coming from a switch, which this one is. So we need to connect this up to here. Try one of the wire nuts that came with it. And then I can do the, the white goes, oops, I'm going to have to extend that wire. Okay, now I've stripped the wires back a little bit more on the fan. 
the ones that were on the fan would not strip back enough. So now I'll go back to uh, trying to wire up this guy over here. Make sure you have the electric off, right? Make sure like really careful, which is not, not easy to do. As tight as you can do it with your fingers. I realize why I'm having trouble. I started the wrong way. I should have done the ground first. This white wire actually has an N on it to indicate neutral. That's opposed to hot. The other one has on it. What does it have on it? An L for live. It's a shame that these have uh, stranded wires on them. They don't connect as easily to uh, solid. Okay. But we will get it eventually. Try to hold it up while I connect the ground. Oh, the, the ground is connected to the box. I don't really need that. I'll push it back up there. I do not need the ground. But now that the wires are connected, now I can just sort of push the whole thing up into here. And we should be able to line it up. Make sure the hook doesn't get in the way. Should be able to line it up. Plenty of room in, inside that little area there. We gotta line this up with the notches on the base. And you twist it clockwise in this case. And it's connected all around now. And I think there's a screw I gotta put in to lock it in place. Let me go find that. Okay, it took a little finagling. I had to reorient how I twisted it onto the fan. But there's a little notch at one end where you see the wires going to the light. And right there is a little hole that has to line up with a, a, little, a little notch that has to line up with the hole. So now I got it lined up and I should be able to get this one little screw in here without dropping it. Okay, I got it in there, the screw inside of there. And now I should be able to just tighten that up and lock it in place. There we go, we're good. You're done. Well, let's turn it on and see what we get. Does it light up? And it does. Mm, it's bright. It lights up. It, it lights up. It's really good. Okay, let me show you how we control it now. Okay, so let's test it. We just turned it on from the wall. And now let's take a look at the remote that it comes with. We can control the light with this button here in the middle. So we turned it off, we can turn it back on again. We can adjust the amplitude of it, make it brighter, make it darker. We could change the color of it. Looks like it only has three positions of colors to it, at least from the uh, remote. You can do a timer, one hour and a two hour. I have to look that one up, what the middle button is here. But you want the fan, it's over here. You push the middle button, it goes on. And you can do different speeds. That's one, that's three, and let's go six. You can actually hear it if I get close to it. Okay? So that's, uh, that's the fan as we can control it from the remote control. Uh, the instruction pamphlet goes into everything in detail. So I do suggest you take a look at that and read it. And uh, next thing we have to do is install the app. Okay, we've now installed the app. You have to pair it. I thought we followed the instructions. You power it on and within five seconds, you've got to hit the pairing button, which is a button right over here in order to pair it uh, on the left hand side there. But now we can control the fan from the app. So if we wanted to play with the lights, there's different tone lights here we can go to right from the app. We want to turn on the fan. We can do that. And you can see the fan actually turning on the app. Very similar to, to other ones just like it. And there's a lot of options. You can go reverse with the fan if you want by hitting this button here. And you can do uh, several other things that, again, read the instructions and it gives you all the options that you can do. So with that, I thank everybody for watching the video and uh, let me know if you have any questions.